Hello and good evening and welcome to a new video series that I'm going to be putting on every month called Zodiac Tarot. Zodiac Tarot will feature a horoscope reading for each zodiac sign as we transition into that particular sign. Kicking us off, this month is going to be Capricorn, which is the last earth sign in the zodiac, also ruled by Saturn and is represented by the sea goat. A few facts about Capricorns that you may not have known are that they value their time, they are very driven, they have can-do attitudes, but this also leads them down the road to being workaholic. So finding a good work-life balance is very important. They tend to be very practical, disciplined, and very sensitive. Capricorns find themselves enjoying things like puzzles and games, and they enjoy spending time reading and gardening. So with that, Let's begin our horoscope reading for this month's uh, Capricorn, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so here we go for our Capricorn reading, December 2021. This and all of my readings can be found in your tarot journal available on Amazon.com under IRL Studios. And this, I'll put a, a little overgraph of the horoscope spread. Here's our guide. You can also find this on my Etsy shop. So let's begin, Capricorns. Okay, here are all the cards for our horoscope reading for Capricorns. Apologies that everything is kind of smushed together. When you're doing your own readings, I encourage you to spread out as much as you can, uh, just so you have space and you feel comfortable. I, this is only put together uh, how it is because of the frame of the video. Uh, so let's begin. Here on the screen, we have all the symbols of what these cards represent. If you use the horoscope key that is on the Etsy website, you can find what these different symbols represent. So beginning here, let's go. Okay, here we go for our general influences card for our Capricorn. We have the Chariot. So lots of swift action, lots of decision making here. It's going to be swift. It's going to be fast. Your personality or the general influences that you're experiencing, you're going to probably be faced with a lot of decisions and you're going to probably have to act fast a little bit. Our next one here is our personality card for Capricorns. We have the lovers. So your personality is definitely passionate you have strong communication and you value partnerships um, this card is more than just romantic love it is all about communication and connection you have a deep connection to somebody or something that you value very important and the communication aspect is also very strong there as well here we have money, possessions, material concerns. So your relationship with money, it's a strong union. Um, you just have a really strong connection with money, material concerns. Um, don't let it get disharmonized and uh, make sure that you stay on track. I will say that abundance is a two-way street. Um, what you put out, you get back. So if nothing's going out, and you're not going to receive anything. But your relationship with money and the material world is very, very strong. Uh, it's, a, it's a perfect union. Here we have our short adventures and our siblings and our learning card. And it is the Page of Cups. As you can see here, uh, this is the Wind Pigs Fly. So your um, relationship to um, those short adventures are just like, oh, Wind Pigs Fly, it may not happen. You're in, you're kind of in the uh, lofty ideals of, of these short uh, outings that you're trying to manifest in your life. Uh, maybe relationships with your uh, siblings and uh, kind of learning aspects you may have a lot of ideas and want to spend but maybe it's not all coming together so you have that mentality kind of like oh when pigs fly a little bit um but 
good good card overall you just have to get past the fact that you um are in that uh, moment of like oh it's never gonna happen when pigs fly maybe one day think of it as now now i'm gonna do it now is the time going into our home life in childhood we have justice so this card really really good it tells us to learn from our from our past so especially if we had a lot of trauma in our past um or anything that has happened in our childhood it's definitely good to learn from it even those trauma lessons as hard as they are they do help us grow and change and they change our outlook on life so learn from from those issues from the trauma let go what you need to let go because it's not all going to serve you don't you don't have to bring that trauma back um, this justice card is like is saying it's all going to work out the trauma the whatever maybe you have some baggage in your um in your past there learn from it take what is beneficial grow with that and move forward with your life um this is all about karmic law and it's uh you know we have she's blind here but underneath the subconscious the subconscious knows and sees everything here so this card here is all about our romance our relaxation our fun this is uh this position here represents our fun romance and relaxation card um, for our Capricorn readings. And you have a lot of scarcity mindset for it, uh, especially when it comes to your sexuality. Um, you have a lot of passion. Your personality is very passionate. Um, you uh, can make really good decisions. You have passion. You can form strong unions. Um, but you kind of live here. Oh, it may never happen. It's not going to happen to me. Um, this is that scarcity mindset. So move beyond that scarcity mindset instead of, oh, it, that love isn't going to happen for me. That romance isn't going to happen for me. I'm not going to see that. Uh, so I'm going to live in this darkness. There's light here. There's keys and there's a key and you have the key to get out of that mindset. So look brighter. Look uh, that it is going to happen. You're not just going to um, be in this darkness. If you see what everything is for and you, you accept, you know, you've learned from your past here and you accept and move forward this card, you don't have to live in that darkness and you can have the fun and light and love that you know you deserve. So here's our next card. This is our distant adventures, our faith in our religion. So three of wands here. Um, this is a really strong card, especially for distance adventures. She's looking out. She's like, I've planned all this. I'm expecting it. I'm very optimistic, especially when it comes to faith and religious matters. Um, don't worry about leaving things behind. You don't have to keep everything with you, which is what the justice card is saying like not everything is going to serve you as you continue on those long journeys um you can let things go and the three of wands is a very optimistic card because you've done the work you've done the planning and you're you're going for it she's about to just set off she's going to hit those waves and she's going to love it the cosmos are in here lots of fire power energy here this is an action card so you're you're going somewhere as long as you're moving beyond this this oh it's never going to happen you'll get here you'll have that this involves our habits and our health the six of cups here so we can see here you're very nostalgic um you're you have a tendency to look in the past and have very very fond memories which is amazing you with those fond memories you can continue to grow you can take you have that wholeness of your timeline of your life and you can just say i learned from that i grew with it 
I went from this tiny boy with this little puppy and we grew into adults. And this guy, he's, he's an older man. He's remembering with his dog, like, oh, you know, that was great. I, you were a puppy and I was a baby. And you grew together. And having that, you can keep that fond memory. And that can really help you grow into the future. Okay. So here we have any and all partnerships right here. Your Seven of Wands card. And this card, you during this time, you're probably going to have a... A lot of people coming at you and say you don't know you don't know what you're doing so you it is important for you to stay grounded if you're entering into some sort of business profession stay grounded plan it out this because this card is about planning doing and make sure that seven of wands um, you're putting that protective sphere around you. You're drawing in on your power. Maybe you're grounding uh, to source, to Mother Earth, whatever your creator um, religious path is. Uh, make sure you're staying grounded and that you are protecting uh, yourself because you're going to get a lot of people come at you. These these ones here are all like this attacking this woman. They're just like, um, we're going after you, are going after you. But as long as you're grounded and you're centered before you go into a meeting, whatever, phone call, per, in person, Zoom, breathe, stay grounded, make sure you've planned out what you're going to say and go forward. So here we have the Hermit. This is in the um, Children, Shared Resources, and Inheritance spot. And the Hermit is all about contemplation and self-introspection. And just going into yourself and figuring out what you need to do. And so in relation to Children and Shared Resources and maybe an Inheritance uh, you could be potentially trying to plan an inheritance for your children or maybe how you are going to split an inheritance or utilize some sort of resource that is going to be shared among everybody, not just you, and you're in charge of that. Um, and it's so you have to go inside, you have to go deep again here you go any and all partnerships uh seven of wands people may be attacking you so you're gonna have to stay grounded look within yourself as the hermit and figure out what it is that is the best course of action for everyone involved it may not be easy i'm not saying it will be you're gonna have a lot of people a lot of voices coming at you but you know in your heart you have the light that you're showing and it's going it's going to shine through whatever decision you make and again these are your general influences it's going to be fast chariot one decision two decision you're going to have to make choices throughout this time as a capricorn here is your career and work um nine of swords is all about like that's your fears you're manifesting these fears uh you see this bird here this bird isn't really there it's an illusion your fears are an illusion i know that during the pandemic everything has been like am i gonna have a job today am i gonna have a job tomorrow what's gonna happen are we gonna be in business are we gonna have another lockdown you're manifesting all of that know your work know your worth and stay grounded with whatever decisions you need to make you're staying up at night you're having panic attacks you're having fear um, everything that this card is saying right here is just that you you're in fear and it's an illusion this card is saying everything that you've doubted is an illusion especially when it comes to career and work and you're trying to find direction it's an illusion and know that they are illusions. You can wake up from this nightmare at any time. This is your friends, your social network, your social life, uh, and your hopes for the future. What hope do you have when you're carrying all the responsibilities that the Ten of Wands says that you have? You are here, you're saying that I have so much 
maybe you can set this down. This card comes up at an interesting place in your horoscope and where your social life and your connections are going to be really important. Set some of them down. You don't need to take everything on and utilize the network you have. Can you delegate some of your responsibilities to somebody else? Um, it's not just one person. You've taken everything on. Your personality is to have deep partnerships and deep connections. And part of that is going to have to be having boundaries and saying, I have to let go of this one thing or these groups of things to be able to move forward. This is a journey card. This journey cannot be filled with a lot of weight and a lot of responsibilities if you're going to realize your full potential. And finally, our last card here is this is what is your this is the secrets and hidden influences spot and where you can be your own worst enemy and what i'm getting from this card the six of swords you are afraid to ask for help and be don't be afraid this card is all about letting go giving up some of those responsibilities ask for that help there's people who want to help you these birds are helping her on her journey this boat this river this odyssey that that you're taking on you're gonna need help in it and that help can come in all forms maybe you just have to get across this one path you see here in this ten of wands you're you're weighed down with everything but by letting go and accepting that help you are able to let go you have the one suitcase the one case in this boat you have this whole ox here in the ten of wands when you set out on that journey you have your wand you had your suitcase you had all these bushels and everything you're weighed down with everything you weighed that ox down with everything you could but here if you accept that help you can let things go you don't have to be bound to everything uh, it's not your responsibility to take care of everything and make sure you're accepting the help so my fellow capricorns i hope that this was a good reading for you i hope that everything resonated you take what you can learn from what you can uh, especially uh, these cards you're having a lot of nostalgic moments justice learn from your past grow be strong ground yourself don't be afraid to turn inward make sure that you're asking for help because all the illusions in your head they are just illusions those are fears that you've created because you have taken on too much you're getting burnt out don't live in that when pigs can fly moment it's nice to have dreams and you should have dreams but act on them because in this card your long distance journeys um you have You've planned everything. You're taking that action. You are there in the Three of Wands. Lots of decisions are going to be made uh, during this time for your horoscope. And you have a lot of support because your personality shows deep connections and communications. You have a good relationship with money. Make sure it's a give and take um, that people aren't taking advantage of you. But enjoy, love, learn, and grow. I love you. I hope that you have a wonderful Capricorn season, and I will see you next time. Hariyom.